Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to become more disciplined. Let's jump right into it. So a very common mistake I see is people trying to become motivated, not realizing that discipline will always be motivation every single time. So with that being said, I'm gonna talk about the first and most important tip, which is just following through with what you say you're going to do. The easiest way to become disciplined is just consistently show up over and over again. And a lot of you don't realize that those small day-to-day -day things that you may end up just not being reliable with or telling yourself, hey, I'm gonna do this, but you don't actually do it. You don't realize how you're actually creating a bad habit and every single time when it comes down to showing up or not, you start to have that debate of, am I actually gonna do this? You don't actually end up believing yourself. And that's not just because you end up skipping workouts, not hitting your macros, not getting to bed on time and doing these fitness related things. A lot of other areas in your life, you end up just not being reliable. And so one of the greatest things and something I've practiced for years and years was just showing up not only for myself, but those around me. And because I created that habit of being disciplined in every single area, when Kyle says, hey, I'm gonna do something, I would do it and it would just translate over into other areas of my life. And that's just really helped me become disciplined in the best version of myself. Now, next up, I really recommend starting with the hardest task and building forward. That's gonna allow you to build such incredible momentum. And when you do that hardest thing, some people call it eating the frog, and especially early in the morning, it allows you to just build that momentum and everything else is going to start to feel easier. Now, I know a lot of people love to procrastinate. They start with the easy things. They organize a few things and sometimes that can build momentum. But to be honest, that's just busy work and it allows you to feel like you're doing something without actually really doing that hard thing that you've been putting off. So tackle that hard workout, tackle that hard project, those messages, like those things that you need to do, you know, whether you're writing a book, whatever it is, that's going to allow you to build discipline because whatever you do going forward, you're going to be like, well, I just did this hard thing for two hours. Now I've just got to do this easier thing. And it's just going to allow you to feel more disciplined, which will then allow you to be disciplined. So hopefully that makes sense. Start with the hardest thing. I promise you, you will not regret it. Now, I honestly believe it's very important to utilize your willpower when it's at its highest for the most important tasks. Same with strengths and weaknesses. It's very important to understand what a strength is, what a weakness is of yours and how to work around that to fit the most perfect schedule to help you build that discipline. And I know it does sound like a lot of work, but I can promise you when you create those habits, a lot of it does, doesn't feel like work moving forward because you've started to create a system. You've started to, you know, figure out, Hey, my willpower is at its highest here. So here's when I'm going to do the hardest thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to get my workout in at this time. And, you know, just understanding yourself makes such a big difference that allow you to build that habit and work off of it going forward. And I always look at willpower like a gas tank. We start with a full gas tank. It's at hundred percent and you just build up first thing in the morning. That's when you can do your hardest things. And I know there will be some people who may not be like this, but for majority of people, it will be the case. Typically by the end of the day, your gas tank is going to be empty. That's when you're the most tired. That's when you know, you've gone through an entire day. You've made tons and tons of decisions. So you're going to have likely an empty gas tank, which will end up being a lot harder to make those right decisions. It's harder to be more disciplined at that time. So you have to figure out systems and ways to help yourself stay on track through these different situations. And that's why willpower is such an important thing to pay attention to, as well as your strengths and weaknesses. Now, in order to become more disciplined, you have to remove temptations. Now, this will look different for every person. It could be just emptying out the fridge from all the sweets, from all the things that you know you may be indulging in. Uh, for them, some of you in your office, you may just have some things that just aren't the greatest for you. Uh, it could be a TV just behind you. Like if there's something you're struggling with and you're looking to become more disciplined, you really just have to sit down and figure out what it is that's holding you back and just simply remove it. I know it sounds very obvious, but the amount of people that allow distractions to get in their way to allowing them to become disciplined it's just mind blowing. And you know, if, let's say for example, you're someone who's always snoozing the alarm clock, you sleep right beside your phone and you just hit it and you hit it a million times. That's potentially allowing you to become not disciplined. And all you have to do is simply remove that barrier, put your alarm clock across the room, a different room, wherever you can hear it. It's going to force you to stand up, turn the alarm off, and then boom, your day started just because you put that barrier there, you've removed that temptation. And it's a very simple fix that a lot of people neglect. Now, I highly, highly encourage get some accountability. There's not one person out there who's too good to have some accountability to help them become more disciplined. And I know every single person, whether they're an elite athlete, whether they're the best of the best basketball player, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, like whoever it is, they all have so many different people helping them become more disciplined. 
And no matter who you are, you're not too good for accountability and we all need it. There's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of times people have way too big of an ego where they think, oh, I should be doing this myself. I don't need anybody at all. But I can promise you when you either hire a coach or you get a group of people around you that's building you up and helping you become more disciplined, you will be absolutely unstoppable. And of course, that's what we do within our coaching program is we help anybody who's struggling, looking for help with their nutrition, their training, and just really looking to take things to the next level, we guarantee the results. And by having that person that you're gonna check in with, that's gonna give you a game plan, it makes you just such an unstoppable person because you do all the right things that's gonna help you build those habits to become disciplined. And it's honestly amazing what you can accomplish when you show up for a consistent amount of time on your fitness journey. And that's all I have for you today. As you can see behind me, I have a discipline equals motivation flag that I purchased just because I wanted as a reminder every single day to become the most disciplined version of myself, to focus on building habits that's gonna allow me to build freedom from being disciplined. And I really encourage you to spend time thinking, how can I become the most self-disciplined version of myself? And when you put in that work, you can accomplish absolutely anything, whatever it is you desire. And if you're simply relying on motivation, you're gonna be highly misguided. So spend time, become disciplined, become the best version of yourself. If you're looking for someone to help you out, to help you become the best version, help you with your nutrition, your training, your accountability, your lifestyle habits, just feel free to fill out the first link down below. I'm happy to help. I guarantee your results and I've helped over 4,000 people on their fitness journey become the best version of themselves and I want you to be next. Talk to you soon and see you in the next video. Cheers.